Hello boys, Mr Ford here. I am going to take you through some body temperature pulse raising activities to do at the start of your PE lessons. So you would normally do these activities before you stretched uh, in order to deliver some blood, carrying some oxygen and nutrients to the working muscles before you then stretch them. If you stretch before doing a pulse racing activity, muscles are going to be a bit cold, they could be susceptible to maybe some slight tears or damage. So do the pulse raiser, body temperature raising activities first, followed by some stretching. So to start with, all you're going to do is some jogging on the spot. So nice and easy, nice and relaxed. To make it slightly more intense, we can start to go slightly faster, bring the knees a little bit higher. Slow down again. Knees slightly higher, arms slightly faster, and relax. So very easy, jogging on the spot. The second one is going to be high knees. So a little bit similar to uh, the jogging on the spot. I don't want you to put your hands out in front like this because that's a bit unrealistic. You would never do a sporting action where you had your hands out like this as such. So still use your arms as if you're jogging at the side, relaxed, and then bring the knees up as high as you can. So knees up to about waist height, nice and high, and relax. One more time for about seven or eight seconds, high knees. And relax. Okay, the next one, heel flicks. So I'm gonna go side on for this. Flicking the heels up towards the backside. Again, arms as if we're running. Start to gradually flick the heels up, the heels up, sorry, to the backside. And you should feel a little bit of a stretch on the quadriceps, the muscles at the front of the upper leg. So again, flick the heels. Seven or eight seconds. And relax. Okay. Now, obviously, if I was outside or you were outside doing this, you could be performing those, these activities across a, a you know, 15, 20 meter uh, space. When we're inside, if you're doing this in your, um, your bedroom, your living room, or maybe in the garden, and there's not as much space, you can still do these activities, albeit whilst moving in a quite small space, a quite small area. Okay. Next one we're going to look to do is going to be some forward lunges. So, large stride out, knee just a centimetre or two off the ground, and back up. Large stride out, back up. Here you should feel a really good stretch on those quadriceps again. The four muscles on the front of the upper leg. Okay, just hold it there for a couple of seconds. Don't come straight back up. Really feel that stretch. And back up. Okay, good. So quadriceps there. Now hamstrings, the muscle group at the back of the upper leg. Okay, good one for this is heel to ground and then just brush your calf with your hands. Brush your calf with your hands. Feel that stretch all the way down the back of the leg. You'll even feel it partly in the calf muscle I do, the muscles of the lower part of the back of the leg. Okay, so one more on each leg, heel into the ground, point the toes up towards the shins, make that stretch even greater by bringing the, those toes up towards the shins a little bit more. Okay, um, a little bit more now, in the trunk, in the core. All right, so hands uh, on, on the hips. All right, feet just wider than, uh, uh, than, than shoulder width apart. And just circle the hips. Imagine you've got a hula hoop around the waist and you're trying to keep that hula hoop up around the hip area, change direction. Okay, trunk twists. So the trunk, the core, and the, uh, the, the sort of the chest area. So quarter turns, 
not too fast, remember, these need to be done under control. 90 degrees to the left, 90 to the right. Should feel a nice stretch down the side of the trunk. Okay, upper body around the shoulders. Now, if you've ever seen a Mexican sombrero, it's a big hat with a really uh, wide uh, sort of brim area. So if you were to imagine that you're holding that sombrero hat on your head and then we're circling around like so. Okay, change direction. Okay, and just some normal arm swings. Now again, whilst you're doing this, you can have a gentle jog on the spot. Try and brush the ears with the arms. Nice big circles, large range of movement. Backwards. You want to be doing between 10 and 15 circles, forward and back. And then my personal favorite, one arm forward, one arm back. So if you want to start off with your right arm going forward, and then see if you can bring in your left arm going backwards. Still a little jog. Other way, left arm forwards, right arm backwards. And relax. Okay boys, that will be enough to really make you feel like your body temperature is, is raised. You could probably feel, you know, definitely warmer and you might even be slightly uh, perspiring, sweating, that's fine. Um, and you, you probably will t uh, be able to tell that your heart rate is increased. You might be able to feel your heart beating a little bit faster or if you were to put two fingers against your neck or two fingers against your wrist, you'll be able to feel your pulse, so the blood pushing against the, uh, the blood vessels will, will be uh, a bit more noticeable and a bit faster as well.